Comparison of Intercontinental Missiles Between China, the United States and Russia The United States has 12,500 kilometers, Russia has 16,000 kilometers, and how many are there in China? Intercontinental missiles have huge launch power. One missile is enough to fly thousands of miles. It is one of the most destructive weapons in the world today and a key weapon mastered by all countries. Intercontinental missiles are mainly used to attack important high-value targets on enemy territory, so their lethality is very terrifying. In this case, many military fans will compare intercontinental missiles between China, the United States and Russia. In such data, the United States has 12,500 kilometers, Russia has 16,000 kilometers. So what about China? Let us take a closer look in this video. The U.S. intercontinental missile has a range of up to 12,500 kilometers. It is said that the United States has the ability to reach the world with fighter jets in one hour and missiles in one hour. Among them, the Minuteman III intercontinental missile is a powerful weapon with a maximum range of 12,500 kilometers, which can hit almost any place in the world. This is a strategic weapon with strong strike capability. According to existing data, it is 18.2 meters long and 1.84 meters wide. It also adopts a three-stage propulsion launch method, which can effectively ensure its stability and reliability. In addition, the system uses an improved NS-20 inertial balance guidance control system, which can give the missile a highly accurate guidance capability. In addition, the Minuteman III intercontinental missile is also equipped with 236 warheads. These include the General Electric 12 re-entry vehicle, 3W62 nuclear warheads with an equivalent of 170,000 tons, as well as metal pieces and decoys. In this way, the equipment can have a stronger destructive power and interference. This type of missile weighs only 34 tons and uses solid fuel propulsion. It is the first intercontinental missile in the United States to use multi-stage solid fuel. It flies very fast, and each missile can carry three warheads, and can also be equipped with more multi-stage warheads to enhance its penetration capability. However, since this type of missile was built in the 1990s, its strike accuracy still needs to be improved, and the error is relatively large. Despite this, the number of deployments in the United States is still considerable, and several technical upgrades have been carried out. Therefore, the intercontinental missile that the United States attaches the most importance to is this model. Comprehensively analyzing, the United States Minuteman III intercontinental missile does have an extremely important position in terms of both technical performance and strategic significance. Russia's Sarmat intercontinental missile is also a highly deterrent strategic weapon. Because it inherited the Soviet military heritage, Russia has the most powerful intercontinental missile in the world. Sarmat is one of the most powerful missiles in the world. According to Russian officials, a Sarmat missile is enough to destroy the United States and is one of the most powerful nuclear bombs in the world. The explosive power of a Sarmat missile is equivalent to the power of 1,600 atomic bombs, dropped by the U.S. military on Hiroshima, Japan. Its explosion range can cover 5,340 square kilometers, and the affected area is even wider. According to actual tests in Russia, a Sarmat missile explosion covered more than 2,000 square kilometers of densely forested uninhabited areas and knocked down 80 million trees. 
If it is dropped in densely populated areas such as cities, the destructive power is even more terrifying. According to relevant information, the missile has a range of up to 16,000 kilometers. For such data, it means far exceeding the U.S. Minuteman III intercontinental missile, which will also enable it to have the ability to cover the world. The parameters of the missile are also very amazing. According to the data, the payload weight exceeds 10 tons, the missile is 35.5 meters long and 3 meters in diameter. Such data means that the missile can carry a large number of warheads and equipment. At the same time, the missile can carry independently targetable nuclear warheads and is also equipped with inertial guidance, global navigation satellite system, GLONASS, astronomical inertial guidance and other guidance systems. Don't underestimate these systems at this time. These systems can effectively improve accuracy and strike capability. In addition, the Sarmat missile also has a variety of strike methods. It can also carry 10 large nuclear warheads or 16 small nuclear warheads, and even each warhead can carry out precision strikes against different targets. Overall, the Sarmat Intercontinental Missile is indeed in the world's leading position in terms of technical performance and strike capability. China's Dongfeng-41 Intercontinental Missile is an important part of China's nuclear deterrence. China's Dongfeng series missiles are truly national heavy weapons, among which Dongfeng-41 is particularly prominent. Its comprehensive combat strength is superior to the U.S. Minuteman III Intercontinental Missile. Its maximum range can reach 14,000 kilometers, and it can achieve high-precision strikes through an independent satellite navigation system. It takes only more than 20 minutes to launch from China to the U.S. mainland, and the maximum flight speed can reach Mach 20, with a flight speed of 30,000 kilometers. Even with existing technology, the U.S. interception system cannot stop it. Dongfeng-41 is one of China's most powerful national defense weapons and an important guarantee for China's national defense security. With a national heavy weapon like Dongfeng-41, the enemy will be more wary of the threat to China. The West has conducted simulation exercises many times in an attempt to enhance its combat advantage over China, but China's intercontinental missiles ensure national security and have made important contributions to improving national security. For this missile, the dimensions are 21 meters in length, 2.25 meters in diameter, 16.5 meters in length, and 2.78 meters in diameter. Such data alone can show its powerful equipment and load capacity. Moreover, it can carry up to 10 independently guided nuclear warheads, and even the accuracy of each warhead can be as high as 100 meters. In addition, the maximum load of the missile can reach 1.6 tons, and it can carry 10 thermonuclear warheads with an explosive equivalent of 200,000 tons, or 6 thermonuclear warheads with an explosive equivalent of 650,000 tons. The missile also uses a three-stage solid fuel propulsion. This is a rocket propulsion system that uses solid fuel as a fuel source. It includes propellant, oxidizer, and ignition system, and is usually used in small rockets and missiles. Compared with liquid fuel propulsion systems, it is simpler, easier to store and operate, and has a higher propulsion efficiency. Moreover, it is also equipped with an inertial gyroscope and a computer system and operates under the navigation of the Beidou satellite system. For this aspect of the combination, its highly accurate guidance and navigation capabilities can be guaranteed. Therefore, 
China's DF-41 intercontinental missile has indeed reached the world's advanced level in terms of technical performance and strategic capabilities. In addition, China's sea-based DF-41 missile model Zhulong-3 has also been successfully developed and will be carried on the Type 096 nuclear submarine. This will realize the sea-based intercontinental ballistic missile launch capability, giving China all-weather submarine duty defense capabilities and the ability to quickly respond to any enemy actions. The West is also uneasy about China's intercontinental missiles because weapons like the DF-41 and sea-based Zhulong. Three missiles have the powerful ability to destroy the enemy's nest. Through the comparison of the intercontinental missiles of the three countries, it can be seen that the intercontinental missiles of China, the United States and Russia have their own characteristics. The U.S. Minuteman III missile has a wide range and fast speed, but its accuracy needs to be improved. The Russian Sarmat missile is powerful and has a wide coverage. China's Dongfeng-41 missile has strong combat strength, high accuracy and fast speed, and is an important guarantee for national security. As the main form of national nuclear deterrence, intercontinental missiles are of great significance to any country. On the one hand, intercontinental missiles can effectively counterattack after being attacked by nuclear weapons forming an effective nuclear counterattack deterrence and effectively preventing opponents from launching nuclear strikes. On the other hand, intercontinental missiles also have a long strike range and high strike accuracy, which can achieve precise strikes on long-range targets and improve the country's strategic capabilities. There is another aspect. It can also carry multiple types of nuclear warheads and strike different types of targets, with strong flexibility and adaptability. China, the United States and Russia are all strong in the field of intercontinental missiles, and each has advanced technology and equipment. Intercontinental missiles are also of great significance to national security and are an important part of maintaining national nuclear deterrence and strategic balance. In the future, with the continuous development of science and technology and the enhancement of military strength, the competition among countries in the field of intercontinental missiles will become more intense, and the international security pattern may also undergo major changes. Therefore, all countries should strengthen international cooperation and jointly maintain global peace and security. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.